unveiled new GIDC regulations, launched GIDC online portal based on uh, EPG, launched revamped GIPB website, GPS based land bank in association with BISAGN linked with Goa Shakti portal, uh, Gati Shakti portal. What I want to say is we have gone digital in a big way. I think some newer things have happened much ahead of uh, other states as well. Like you saw an application, technical application being cleared in less than a second. So that is the level we want to go by evolving a transparent system. My colleague here who is the chairman of uh, GIDC, Mr. Reginaldo Lorenzo, Mr. Pravimal Abhishek, with their support, we have been able to make everything transparent as far as land allocation is concerned. For the first time, on the website, you know which plots are available where, which plots can be allocated by investment promotion board or GIDC and which are there available for auction. Because land is a precarious commodity, especially in a small state like Goa. And one thing perhaps, uh, which is also very important, I want to mention through the press because I forgot only one point. For the existing industry, we want them also to expand. We are going to change the FAR in the industrial estates. We are going to double it. So for those existing units, which are already thriving, if they want to do some additional, they want some additional workplace, they want to do something more, then they will be allowed to go vertical. This is shortly going to happen. And then two things have happened which are very, very important. Mr. R. Dinesh, who is the national president of CII, he has, we have signed a MOU, TVS, S, SCS Global Freight Solutions Limited. This is going to generate employment, I think, to the tune of almost uh, 1,000, as, uh, as was said. Indirect. direct and indirect. It's going to generate employment of 1,000 people. So one MOU has already been signed. And as I know Mr. R. Dinesh, once he says something, he does it. I'm very thankful to him for having chosen Goa as an important destination for the next investment. As you know, he is from the TVS group which is a very successful group, have climbed uh, so many uh, stages higher than many of his peers. So he is a performing person. I am sure that with his industry coming up, it will help Goa in a very big way. IT industry is an environment-friendly industry. We are promoting IT in a big way. I know in the past, uh, with the past government, uh, even though a year, uh, area was earmarked in Dwanapal, as you know, and you perhaps must be knowing history, we don't go in, want to go into that past, that did not take off. Now it is our endeavor to encourage and build up even the IT industry. As you know, we are under such uh, Bharat Abhiyan program, SBM program, we are laying a lot of emphasis on cleanliness of not only beaches, cleanliness of entire Goa. In my own uh, constituency, recently I have the wealth out of waste plant to handle waste. We want to replicate this model which has been appreciated by the central government as well. In fact, uh, if I, if you remember the Honorable Vice President was supposed to pay a visit to that, but because it was dark that day, he could not visit. Mr. Chandrasekhar, who was the uh, minister for the, in the same ministry, Jal, uh, 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 Jal Ministry. He also couldn't come because he fell sick in Goa and he went the previous day. All this scheduled visit means it is something which is talked about. This we are replicating in other parts of Goa. So as far as tourism is concerned, we are giving all the attention to keep Goa clean and green. And other initiatives in terms of uh, ultimately tourism also is an industry. Anything investment that is made in tourism will be classified. It will come to investment promotion board. We will clear the proposal. How would you like to tell your investors or whoever you are doing a strategy here with the easy access online system like getting those permissions you know, which you all have shown today? That is one thing and second thing, especially on the land bank so your system which you all have developed. See, this is something new which has happened. Obviously, to absorb change, it takes a little time. I don't think since it is IT related, since it is on the digital platform, it will take that much of time. Soon people will get used to it. Clarify exactly what the Honorable Minister was speaking about. 
the opportunity in logistics is consumer driven and customer driven so for us as a company we follow our customers and we follow the opportunity for a consumer so i think wherever there is a natural opportunity to create a logistics activity that's why the company which is invested is actually building a warehouse and then having its own customers there we believe to add to what the minister said i think we believe there is a huge opportunity from the logistics sector a because of our customers two because of the consumer so i think it's a uh, i would call it it's a very early day start and we wanted to take the advantage of being the one of the first to come here i for one is very enthused when the godrej group has told me that they want to empower the farmers in goa they will work very differently they said first let us come make our presence felt we'll make the farmer comfortable they themselves will come to us so they are going to work in that direction now as far as imagica is concerned there are there is imagica there are other companies who want to set up shop in the entertainment world entertainment is a huge word it has got a, a very wide meaning many things can come up it related to having a film city related to having a film studio besides having a water park water world and all other amusement park so it includes everything so we are trying to get something other than people getting uh, over with visiting temples visiting churches visiting beaches and what do they do after that so we have to get some more other activity taking place we are on the road map to do that in the shortest time perhaps possible